Hey there, fellows. Okay, so here's what we're up to today. I was actually looking through our supply of wheels, since we are in the middle of moving, and we're constantly shuffling our stuff around. And I've found three rims which don't have a pair, let alone a complete set. Anyway, here's what I have in mind for today. I'm looking to do some torture testing of these here wheels. What exactly does that mean? We're gonna make them look good by removing some of the spokes. We'll be gradually chopping them off, carefully removing one spoke after another, exposing the hub underneath, and then we'll see how durable these things are. Let's do this. How many spokes can you cut out and still drive? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so we've rounded up all the wheels. I've got a marker right here. Let's figure out how to do this. So this one has six spokes. Okay, what to do? Right, check this out. I say we remove these three right from the get-go. We'll make a mark over here. And here. And that's gonna leave us with a sort of three-spoke wheel. These are a bit thinner, but there are a lot of them. Eight pairs to be exact. I suggest we get rid of these. We're not going to be needing them anymore. Now it's just a matter of carefully removing them like so. And that's going to leave us with four pairs of spokes. As for this one, we'll cut off this spoke and these two over here. We're going to have to leave a hole for the lug nut, of course. Okay, so that's going to leave us with this pair and these two spokes, which form a V-shape. And that's it. Right, time to do some grinding. And then we start experimenting. Let's do this. Okay, fellas, we finished preparing these rims. It's all looking pretty good. And over here we've got a race car, which we've had for quite a while now. You can't even imagine what it's been through. And there's still more for it to come. So today it's going to be riding on these lovely lightened alloys we got here. Right, time for us to throw these on. The only problem is that we have just three wheels instead of a full set of four. So will they hold up? Or are they going to break? If anything, I'm pretty sure that they're going to break. Let's do this. Go ahead. All right, so we've mounted them. It's all looking pretty good. Now it's a matter of doing some torture testing. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's see. We're obviously not seeing any sort of wobble. So far, so good. Nice. So far, everything's holding up okay. And now we've made it to some potholes. Awesome. Just what we need. Okay, then. What's going on? Turn. Another turn. Great. Going over a pretty rough surface here. That was pretty gnarly. After our latest experiments, this thing is more eager to turn right than it is left. So far, everything seems to be all right. I think it's time to take a bit more weight out of these rims. Let's do it.
Right, fellas, check out what we've done to these wheels. Now they weigh even less. I'm not gonna say that they look better, though this one actually does look pretty sweet. I am a bit worried about even giving it a kick now. Hopefully it doesn't break. Seems to be holding up. You saw the one on the other side, right? With only four thin spokes left. Looks like a cross now. Right, I think it's time for us to go do some more testing. It's making some weird noises. No. Okay, so far so good. Though we aren't carrying too much speed. Plus there are no big potholes. Let's get the car into starting position. Okay, all set. Let's do this. Look at that. They're not falling apart. They're actually holding their own. This is going okay so far. Let's go hack them up some more. Now who said that alloy wheels aren't durable? Check it out. We've got one spoke and one over here. This one looks like it's pointing dead straight and not leaning either way. That wheel has two very thin spokes left. I'm gonna be driving extremely carefully. Well, at first, anyway. The front right wheel looks like it's doing a figure eight. Okay, take it easy. We're not in any rush. But they ain't falling apart. Look at that. As shocking as it may seem. Careful. Try not to make any unnecessary movements. Okay, let's go. Are you gonna surprise me or what? It even stops okay. They're keeping it together. Isn't that awesome? This one looks like it's about to collapse. The one with two spokes left. Oh no! Oh no! What just happened? It fell off? Holy crap! So here's what's up. This wheel was actually the one we were expecting to make it through the entire experiment. It did have some pretty substantial looking spokes, with quite a bit of girth to them. You'd think that it would be able to handle anything we throw at it. As for this one, well... That's actually a very interesting story. So this wheel with the two opposing spokes that we left intact, at some point it starts to deform. Since we've hacked the fenders on this car, I could clearly see from inside the cabin that it was doing a sort of figure eight motion. I was expecting it to collapse at any moment. But as a matter of fact, it's still going strong. We went ahead and fitted a steely. We gotta keep this ball rolling. Let me in already. Doesn't want to open. Keep it together. Keep it together. Fantastic. This is going good. Dare I say it's superbly even. Everything is going beautifully so far. Oh wow, it is not happy. It looks like it's about to... Call it a day. Without a doubt in my mind. No? No? Yeah, I can see that it's about to let go. Aha! Oi!
Okay, fellas, looks like we're done here. It's all looking good. We've seen this experiment through to the very end. We've figured out which wheels hold up okay, and which ones don't. As for where this leaves us, alloy wheels are actually sturdy enough for you to be able to cut off a bunch of spokes and allow for the car to keep rolling. The rim still clings to even just one spoke, which is quite surprising. I have no idea how they do it. Must be down to the composition of these modern alloys. They can handle some serious stress. Anyway, fellas, we had a lot of fun today. This experiment has been a massive success. Okay, you guys watch our videos, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.